Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're finishing season one of The Boys today and we're kind of sick. Yeah, and we have to tell you guys because y'all are the only ones that are affected. YouTube is not because we can edit it. Well, the yeah. thing is, is I might have to blow my nose and all that good stuff. She got sick, man. The weather changed. She got like a cold or something and then she gave it to me, of course. I've actually been trying to avoid you the last two days and not get sick. It is what it is. Let's not cry about it. All right, all right guys, uh, let's get into The Boys, man. Let's go. All right, season one, episode seven, The Self-Preservation Society. And I just want to add, guys, when this says 16 plus on like some of these episodes and 18 plus on others, 18 plus. Yes, I can get into this eight years ago. This is about to be some Becca backstory, I bet. Oh, oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas! Hello, Hey! Does he have a shaggy haircut right now? Oh, what was eight God. years ago? Everyone. He wants that face. Mm. Why is he there? Fuck a soda, hold the soda. Thank you. Easy, Tiger. I want you in the A-game. Merry Christmas! Uh-oh. Becca. New senior director, digital marketing. Yeah, how did you know? I have my sources. Uh, this is my husband, Billy. Great to meet you. Billy Butcher. Becca, you handled my takeover, right? Yes, I, I did. You saw it? I loved it. What'd you take over? Vought's Twitter account. Your <laughs> brilliant wife here did all the work. She posted my photos, she wrote my messages. It was exceptional. All right. So they thought it was yeah, your right. It was really <laughs> Becca. A bit deceptive, isn't it? Uh, no, Billy, that's what we do because Homelander's busy saving lives. It's okay, it's okay. It's a little dishonest, but I'm all thumbs when it comes to that kind of stuff. All thumbs? <laughs> what? I would love to talk to you about maybe quarterbacking the rest of my social media. My dad, he always said, surround yourself with people smarter than you. Well, my uh, better half is uh, wanting my attention, but maybe we could chat tomorrow. That sounds wonderful. Thank you. His better Great half. Meet you, pal. Yeah, that's when they were together, to I guess. Right. Weird. Love that accent. He's quite a bit of a douche, yeah? How the f*** does he walk around in that sweaty f***ing wetsuit all day long? Balls mashed up against oh, his knees. He promised to be happy. Let's get the f*** out of here. He was happy once, that's crazy. He, he had a bad vibe about the whole thing and he didn't say nothing. <sighs> That'd be kind of scary, I'd be like... <laughs> What is that magazine? <laughs> I didn't realize you were such a cigar aficionado. <laughs> I can't get enough of huge, gross logs of filterless tobacco. Mm. He doesn't look like he's using her with those forehead kisses. Mm -mm. But there is a but coming. Why'd you bring me to a hotel? Uh oh. Not, not your place. Yeah, sure. My dad could make you some post coital pizza, <laughs> pizza rolls. I just you figured this rolls. would be. Okay, what's going on? I've never seen your place or your job. You're kind of a mystery to me. Because he's hunting you, Loki. <laughs> you gotta understand that my dad was nothing but corny jokes and expensive gifts until he was gone and all the money along with him. I know that that's not you, but I need to know that the hotel is a nice thing and not a red flag thing. I quit my job. I'm sorry. I. I... I really should have told you. After Robin programming other people's remotes, it felt kind of pointless. You can meet my dad, but you're gonna regret asking that. So everything's okay? It's great. No red flags. I bet that man is stressed out like hell. <laughs> the second Homelander <laughs> finds out what he did. <laughs> and Homelander knows, doesn't he? He knows like the suspect. He said that last episode. Well, yeah, but well, he needs proof. He's a public official. See? I'm just kidding. Public officials don't need proof. They'll do whatever the hell they want. Oh. And then you smirk. So many people were saying in the comments that that's their favorite character because of like how complex the character is. I can see that. But God, I hate him though. <laughs> yeah, he's stressful. You just don't know what he's thinking a lot. But to have a hero like you in a place like Sandusky, everyone down at the local branch is just tickled pink. And we got moved to Ohio. 
Mm. What's this? That's your per diem. You get $75 a day. To make my own food? There's a Dairy Queen, too. Like blizzards and stuff? You betcha. I mean, what about my crime itinerary? I didn't even have anything on it. He's having writer's block. Bro. Oh, this is killing me. Your heart is getting bigger. Balls are getting smaller. Your bone density is for shit. That compound V shit is killing right. you. You see my last time out there? We train. Back to the basics. Nobody gets back at my age. I'm going to be a freak show like Ben Johnson racing against horses. <laughs> Do you know Ben Johnson? I don't want to interrupt the show. I feel like the show is saying there's some old soup named Ben Johnson who just races horses now. <laughs> like he's washed up, you know? Oh, so he's just like, like, he don't want to end up like him. Basically, you know how like Peyton Manning retired and then went on to do nothing but like a thousand commercials, commercials where yeah. he has to pretend About he's a football player farm. in every single one of them? Yeah. That would be my nightmare. I would hate to have to do that. But the money would be nice. But it'd hate to be a character of yourself <laughs> your whole life. Uh-oh. What's going on? I missed you guys. Take a seat, buddy. Truth be known, I felt like we were overdue a little heart-to-heart, -heart, a rap session, maybe a little tough love. Why do you say a rap session? What's that supposed to mean? Right. It means that lately, some of you have been a little out of sorts. I haven't seen them be a team yet. Not yet. Downright sloppy. Not you, Noir. You've been great. He's they the love best. him, because he don't talk. It is fair to say that I am disappointed we're not even the seven anymore we're down to five we're dropping like flies but at least now i know why oh that is not good and his boyfriend it, why don't say it you don't know him. is this a joke why is huey up there i don't understand he and starlight are going steady he's also one of the guys who killed translucent wait oh wow what as well as blackmailing Mesmer, Ezekiel, Popclaw. No, 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 you, that, that is insane. Starlight, sticks and stones won't break my bones, but words. No, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn, my nose is too stuffed to laugh. <laughs> I mean, why would he do that? Good question. A train, my little leg of yours is still scrambled, huh? <laughs> how about now? Damn, he knows how to crop. <sighs> <laughs> I know this guy. You did smash through his girlfriend, so I should hope so. Robin's something or other. Oh, I, I remember now. I... Oh, and he feels so You're used. This guy? Okay, slow down. I don't know what's going on. Huey is not capable of anything close to this. Well, that is true. What if he was helped? Hmm? Say someone got him in to see Ezekiel and got rid of the deep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep whoa. those hands down by your sides, Missy. Whoa. I kind of figured he would do that. That doesn't Sit surprise down. me at all. Yeah, you're in a dictatorship now, lady. He'll blast you. No questions. Yeah, he's going to blast you to Alaska. I know that you want to make this whole deep thing and all the single ladies moment. I just can't help noticing that it all started when you came along. You bitch. I didn't do anything. Enough. It all started because of you. <laughs> like, literally. You've been helping these mud people to go against us. No. Shut your mouth, young lady. Oh no, is she gonna side with them now? Homelander, that's enough. You got something to add, Maeve? She obviously fell for this Hugh Campbell guy. And he's pumping her for information. So back off, leave her alone. Thanks, Maeve. You must be something special. I can't remember the last time Maeve gave a shit ab about anything. Well, gave a shit about anyone, really. Well, she cared about those kids on the plane. Little yeah. Bit. Like, did you forget about that? That was like Not that much, three though. days ago. I got this. It's you and me. Don't say I never do anything for you. You want her, you got her. She's your responsibility now. I just hope you're right about her. What is she, a damn hamster? <laughs> Class dismissed. That was just an interrogation thing. He didn't even like talk about anything useful. You don't stir, you fold like this. Now that's yeah. what makes them spongy. Gotta get the air in it, baby. Here you go. Yep. Hey, can we talk? There ain't no secrets here, son. Spit it out. Stop being an asshole. Just talk to the guy. <laughs> Who doesn't mind? Just say it, brother. I don't think I can do this anymore. 
I mean, Vod, whatever with Kimiko, it's it's awful, and you gotta stop it. But I can't. Right. You just wanna kick back, drink a few Mai Tais, and let us do all the work, is that it? You know, I managed to go my whole life without seeing someone die horribly. You're a f***ing killer, Huey. Just like the rest of us. Now why don't you stop pissing around and tell everybody what this is really all about. Yeah? Fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Huey. Annie. Ooh. It's about Annie. He's been sneaking off to give her one at Lincoln Grand. She doesn't know anything, okay? I'm not gonna tell her anything, or we'll just... Just what? F*** off to Epcot. You're wrong about her. That bitch is f***ing playing you, and you're too f***ing blind to see it. Right, so better to be loyal to a dead woman who doesn't know and doesn't care. How's that working oh. out for you? He's about to whoop your ass, Huey. Oh. Hey, Dad. Hey, Huey. Long time no talk, you know. Who's this? Oh, A-Train's at his dad's. Say hi to Baby boy, dad. Oh, uh, hey, 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 Huey. Why is he here? He's A-Train, listen to me. Oh, shit, if he's burned, then I'm fucked. Get your ass over here in 20 minutes. I'm gonna burst on like a f***ing pinata. Do you understand me? Just like I did your girlfriend. Oh, hell no. If I catch a whiff, a whiff of one of your little asshole friends, I got it. Is he only fast or can he just move really fast? I, I don't know. If she doesn't It know. doesn't matter. I'm gonna do her and Hell you will. Hold on a second. She doesn't know it wasn't her. She's never seen me before. Not once, not ever. So how did I get burned? Mesma. You yeah. fucking idiots had to go a mesma. That was not smart to sleep with her. And you gave her forehead kisses. <laughs> Damn. You can't take those back. Huey. Dad. Where is he? I know him. Right here, sport. <gasps> Special 2016 Comic-Con edition? What, do they make like a few hundred of these? What is this about? Shut the f*** up. Dad, it's gonna be okay. Hey. Oh my gosh. I came alone. You let him go. Alone, huh? Next time, there's not gonna be a next time, but next time, have at least a few cards up your sleeve. You mean, um, you mean like this? Yeah, bitch. Oh, you think like, I don't know what that shit is. Oh, you don't? You don't mind if I do this. I have a bigger dose. He's mad because he's wasting it. <laughs> what if he licks the floor? So tell me what's better, the rush or knowing that as long as you take it, you'll be the fastest. Ooh, blackmail. Dad, time to go. Not without you. I'll be right behind you. I am not leaving you with him, all right? You're just a kid. He's You're gonna my kill kid. Him. Dad, I'll be all right. Go. Where is it? You know, this shit must be pretty good if it's worth running through a human being for. That was an accident. Where the f is the V? That accident had a name. And what about Pop Claw? She had a name too. Pop Charlotte, you put her in danger and then you threw her out like she was f***ing garbage. I made a mistake. The shit that you did was on purpose. So who's worse? <laughs> oh. yeah. You know, you're right. It would have been stupid to come along. Oh my God. Freaking idiot. What you get. It's not safe here anymore. We gotta go. You swore to me and sure. to Jesus Christ that you were done with Billy Butcher. It's my fault. Okay? Hey, baby, come here. Give me a hug. Oh. Honey, daddy's gonna take us on a sleepover. Can you help mommy pack your toys? Is that supposed to... Oh, that's a girl. I was about to say, is that a boy or a girl? I knew you'd vote your conscience, Senator. Thank you. There are snake grants. Three votes to go. <laughs> 35 billion on the low end. That puts us ahead of Lockheed. Edgar must be thrilled. Ah, oh, Edgar. We did this, you and me. This is about us. Hey, do you remember that marketing girl? Seven, eight years ago. Becca. Becca. Yes. Becca Butcher. That's it. Oh, goodness. What about her? Well, she's missing. Missing, presumed, dead. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I looked at her file and the cops think it was suicide. <sighs> Seems her husband, well, he got pretty riled up. William Butcher. Am I supposed to know his name? No. I was just wondering if you knew what happened to her. No, I just assumed that she quit. So he doesn't know? Right, that's the idea I'm getting. So she doesn't know that he knows about them though. Yeah, because, he's going rogue. Right, because then she would know his name. Any particular reason why you were asking all of these questions? No, no, I'm just curious. It's I could get Maria to stay late with the baby and maybe we could order in. Just me and you. What? That sounds amazing. 
Did he just ask him on the low to come suck her titties? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't really know. But you go be a mommy. Ooh. Keeping secrets from Homelander. You like roller coasters? I'm more of a water park guy. <laughs> water park guy. <laughs> you first. Most girls like this suit. Well, I'm not most girls. I gotta see it. Please. I don't look like everyone else. That's what I'm counting on. What, he has like gills or something? I don't think gills is what we're talking about, unless they're on his butt cheeks or something. No, because Starlight would have said something about it if it was that thing. <sighs> Look at those gills. How did you know? Ooh. Because he can oh swim. God, he really can cool. swim. So I knew they had it somewhere. Can we just, uh, I thought it was in the suit, because though, to be honest. You think stop, that he stop, hopes stop, that she stop, smells stop, like stop, this? Stop, 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 stop. stop. Maybe. No, I said it hurt. Ow. I think maybe you should go. I'm not going anywhere. Now he's getting harassed. <laughs> Lady. Ah. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. she's weird. Oh, you like that? Ow. Oh. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh. The Loki just got violated himself. Oh, right in the gills. That hurt my, like, rib cage. Ribs, yeah. They said that little boy's in, uh, some movie. I forgot which one. Silence of the Lambs. My rib cage is still aching. Thank you. You want me to stick my fingers in it? You want me to do it to yours? <laughs> Ew, sweep up. Having a good growler, are we? I stuck a little bug on you. What did you expect me to do? It was a Homelander! Oh. Oh, he's for real, for real, huh? Wait, I can help you. So he just saw that when he got punched. Yeah, he can help solve the case. Oh, your wife? She's missing? I can help you find her. Could you imagine hitting someone with an uppercut right in the jaw like that and then them getting up? You know how embarrassing that would feel. Please, I have a daughter! No! <laughs> Uh, well, there you go. Don't want none f off. I'm here about your wife. She was alone with him for three hours. Not long after that, Rebecca went missing and has remained so ever since. One way or another, Mr. Butcher, I believe Homelander was involved. He's a f***ing superhero. You wouldn't believe what they get up to. So this is his coming to Jesus moment the right origin. here, yeah. The origin of Billy Butcher. My name is Mallory. The one whose grandkids get who killed. Can get you payback. You and McGooey. Answer. Answer. I'd have blocked his ass, wouldn't you? <laughs> Jesus. Who's calling? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Have you seen this? No. Do you watch this when I'm asleep? No. You think I'm gonna watch this when you're asleep? Listen, Hell no. <laughs> I just don't like them. You know, I had someone once. We were gonna get away, start a family. Everyone always asks, what's our special weakness? Gamma rays, <laughs> iron daggers. The truth is, people in relationships. our weakness is the same as anyone's. It's people. The people we care about. So I say, cut them loose. That way you're really bulletproof. Good advice. I mean, if you're a superhero, good advice. But if, if you're, you're a, human. yeah, I was about to say, if you're a sociopath. <laughs> hey, you love those ones. Oh, those spicy Dorito chips. Oh, look at him. He just had a rough go at it. Oh, is he mad because the fish? <laughs> oh, he <laughs> loves it. What's up, man? Is he going to buy them Tell all? Tell me about it. What's that? It's really not that big of a deal. I'm gonna get you out of here. Just hang tight. It better not be 75 bucks. Yeah. Oh, hey, can I take one of these lobsters back with me? You got it. Oh, is he gonna just kill it real quick? The lobster? Yeah. This one. Yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> Don't smash to... him. He's about to. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Oh my, you keep getting these critters killed, bro. 
She looks like you. Nah. She's good looking, man. Right she here. don't look anything like him. <laughs> Mr. Campbell. Who? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Billy Butcher. Hugh Billy Campbell. Butcher. What have we got here then, eh? He ain't your uncle, honey. <laughs> Monique don't like him. He ain't nothing to you. Monique. Good to see you. <laughs> he just accepted it. <laughs> I can't believe he was on Lord of the Rings. Does the Oriental girl not talk? Uh, Asian, yeah. You're right, Asian. Mm, no, I don't think she does. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry about everything. No, no, no. Don't say sorry, no. Look at you. Standing up for yourself. Jinx. Jinx? I think Rain is plenty interested. Only, she didn't bring you Homelander's head on a plate. And you blew the whole how am I doing so far? Nah, mate. Accurate. You're not gonna let anything get in your way, even if it's your own f***ing friends, man. This is gonna be Mallory's family all over again, only this time it's gonna be my family, and if something happens to them, Butcher, I don't know what happened with you and Raina, but just please call her. Yeah, you get home later yourself. I think it's funny how Billy wears, like, floral little shirts, like he's going on vacation. You know oh, what I mean? Because yeah. he's so, grr, but and he wears he has, little And he has a shirts. trench coat. Yeah. Over it. I like the way he dresses. He kind of looks like a supernatural character. Minus the, like, that's what I'm saying. Surprise. They don't wear, like, floral stuff. They just wear. How long's it been, John? <laughs> John? Long enough that no one calls me John anymore. So, what are these? Uh, pets? German retrievers. I try not to get too attached to my subjects. So, that's his dad, basically. I don't know. Just a quick assumption. That little comment he made about subjects? Yeah. You want to know about Rebecca Butcher? You went to Stillwell about her because you knew that'd tip over the first domino. So just ask. I'll be honest. Eight years ago, Stillwell called me with quite an interesting challenge. Rebecca Butcher had come to her with a completely unprecedented medical condition. She's pregnant? She was pregnant. With your child. Oh. Pregnant? But I, I thought I couldn't. So did I. The fetus was developing unnaturally fast. We told her we'd deliver the baby safely at a secure location. But she had to sign an NDA. Couldn't tell anyone. Not even her husband. I'd have broke that NDA. So Madison knew that her like Yeah, 100%. She's tripping. All I want to know is how did she get pregnant, though? The birth was oh, difficult. Well, I mean, I know that. But did he force himself on her? The baby Or did she do it voluntarily? I don't know. The blood loss. No one could have survived. She died on the table. Dang, like Emma Targaryen. And the baby? Lived all of 10 seconds. Is it a boy? Does it matter? Why didn't you tell me? To protect you. That's always job one at what, isn't it? He's his dad in the sense of the same way that other ladies. So like why are you mom. telling me now? Yeah, like, yeah. like 11s. You don't understand. Like Papa's oh, yeah, exactly. 11s, yeah. When I raise subjects without their mothers, they become violent, aggressive. You should have been raised in a home with a family who loved you, not in a cold lab with doctors. And yet, I turned out great. Oh, I geez. think what it's done to you and what you can now do to everyone else. I'm sorry. All this is my fault. What do you want? What do you want? Forgiveness? Now? After you raise me like a fucking lab rat? Too little, too late. So this was crazy right here, all this. I don't want anything from you, John. I'm just an old man thinking about his mistakes. Them repenting years. I'm the world's greatest superhero. You're my greatest failure. That's crazy, brother. Did you think he was about to kill him? I really did. But that gives us some information on Homelander. It makes sense why he's so like... Yeah, John the damn Homelander. Damn. Calm down. He's just gonna walk out there. All right, easy, lads, easy. Oh, the family's gonna be okay. You have my word. Thank you. Well, they trust her, I guess. You called. You are a human after all. Wow, well, let's not get too carried away. Thanks, man. Monique, I'm sorry. I never want to see you again, Marvin. Dang. Oh. Daddy loves you, okay? I said you're gonna see me every damn Friday when you're dropping my kid off. So they're putting them under protective programs, yeah. the family. I mean, I know that he's too busy to raise his daughter right now. I get that. But I'm saying when all, when everything settles, how are you going to say, I don't want to see you again? You're stuck with me. No, right. Homelander. 18 no, years. Homelander, we had a deal. Do you want this or not? Come on, Billy. 
we'll find Homelander ourselves. Uh-oh. Oh. He's about to get blindsided with this information. Or is she, or is she gonna play it off? I have to see you. I don't, I don't think that's such a good idea. You have to explain, Huey. You owe me that much. Wait, where's A-Train? Oh, I'm no. sorry, I'm afraid I'm not following. You and your corporation are f***ed. How is that? Is that clearer for you? I mean, I get it. Jamming illegal drugs into babies' arms. I mean, that doesn't quite have the same ring. What do you want? For starters, there are no superheroes in the U.S. Armed Forces. And we're going to go back to status quo where we're the government and the military and you're just assholes running around in your capes. And if we refuse? Everything goes public. Corruption story of the century. Fought shares go to zero and you go bankrupt and your cute little suit goes to a lovely shade of orange for 15 to 30. Mm. About 12 minutes ago, Navy SEALs took out Abu Rassam. Right, as planned, so what's the problem? Homelander probably did it, Watch. huh? Got movement! Hey! Hey! Get down! Hey, get down! What the f*** does that say? Nakeeb. Why are they giving him a chance to sit there without shooting him? You know what I mean? And he just blew it up like that? That looks like some wildfire, huh? Yeah. Does he just walk out of it? Or did he just, like, kill himself? I'm sure he didn't kill himself. That's not all. Yeah, he's gotta walk out. He's a superhero. A dang fireproof? How is that son of a bitch still alive? The keep means captain. We believe it's his soup name. So they have soups in other countries. Let's go to war, bang bang. Oh shoot. That's what I mean, man. That's just more of an excuse. Now she's in this weird situation. Like, what are you gonna do, ass homelander? They have a soup terrorist. They probably got an army. Any I Did you kill Translucent? Hell yeah, I did. It's, it's it's not that simple. And you haven't been using me to get back at A-Train? Well, at first. <gasps> we didn't have a choice. There is always a choice. Hey, ah, what are you doing? I'm taking you in. No, Annie, hold on. To the cops. At least they'll treat you better than the seven Just would. listen to me. I'm still me, Annie, please. You know me. I don't know you. If you bring me in, I'm dead before sunrise. No, Vault will want to string you up for a long trial. This isn't about translucent, okay? This is about compound V. It gives the soups their powers. What are you talking about? We're born like this. Oh, she doesn't she know. Don't know. I'm so sorry. <gasps> and, and, ah! 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 Run, Chewie! Are you kidding? Ah! What the heck? Billy, you a little wild for that one. Get away from her. He said broad day. He just went into the park and shot her like that? I didn't ask for your help. Yeah. Look like you had all under control. Dang, and then he would just <laughs> He just runs off with him. <laughs> well, he's going to go to jail That's for killing James Lucet. Dang, she really hates him now. Y'all are broken up. Is that an episode? Oh my gosh. All right, boys. So what a crazy episode. It really sucks not being able to breathe, man. Like that's the biggest thing is yeah. I can't breathe out my nose. Man, crazy, crazy episode. Billy Butcher, Billy Butcher is just damn He's wild. He's determined, boy. He's gonna <laughs> He's take a soup out so. even if it even if he has to go to prison over it. He just shot that girl broad day in the I know. park. So bold. I know. Um, He's just picking them off one by one. Huey's sort of growing up a little bit. You know, I'm starting to like Huey a little bit more. Uh, him and Starlight's relationship is really rocky, but something tells me they're going to work out. For yeah, I think they're going to work out feeling. too. You know, mm. man, ultimately we have a soup terrace, which is something that just occurred. So Big that's development. fresh on the brain. And I think the biggest thing is it turns out Homelander didn't exactly dispose of that woman the way that we were led to believe. Well, he didn't, yeah, he didn't dispose of her at all. He did not know that she got killed. What's his name? The Deep is over here trying to save every sea life possible man this dude oh walks into God. the fish market and just gets depressed so i think that's really funny his character is obviously still he has gills on his ribs <laughs> you know so he's still the funniest character in the show for real he's a uh, he's a couple thousand years away from being a damn dolphin or something he's evolving <laughs> straight into a crawfish or something i don't know yeah and every but it's just funny because every time he tries to help him he gets him killed <laughs> And then ultimately, at the end of the day, man, A Train's on something. A Train's over here no, threatening Huey's dad. What is, where needs, is A Train? He has a broken leg. He now. ran off. He, oh, yeah, they just left him in there, didn't they? Yeah, they just left him broken. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. My thing is, how in the hell do you break a superhero's femur so easy? Because uh, it was the other soup that did it. Her strength. Remember, she could like She's claw super strong. Yeah, okay. I just thought that man would have some titanium legs if you ain't never seen any. Are right, y'all ready to get into the next one? Yeah.
This is the season finale. You found me. Lost and insecure. Man, this is about to be a season finale, so this is probably about to be, you know. Tower Rafat, Syria. Howdy, boys. Oh, sorry. Go have a smoke or something, okay? I got this. You are the real heroes. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> is he going to make this look easy? I'd imagine, right? Even the superheroes are scared of him. And then they're going to see it on film and be like, that's why we voted for it. There was no casualties. Oh, they got the hair on us. What's up? Gentlemen. What's that little cup of... The way in it into a brick. They must not have the memo that Homelander is invincible. He's just OP. What do you think he's going to do with that captain, though? The fireproof captain. Oh. Just another day in the office. All clear, boys. Mission accomplished. Dang, he just made that guy have these. Found this. They've counterfeited this compound V shit of yours. It seems that way, Mr. Secretary. How did they get the formula? Honestly, we have no idea. Well, you must have some idea. Hmm. We would like to get to the bottom of this as much as you would. The Justice Department would haul your smug, tennis-toned ass into Congress and make you testify to corporate fraud. What is Lockheed Martin's number one product? The Patriot missile. Correct. Northrop, B-2 Stealth, General Dynamics, Tomahawk, and the M1 Abrams. Do you know what all of that is as of today? Obsolete. A worthless pile of shit. But. Because Nakib and other super terrorists like him can flick away that junk like flicking a flea. So it doesn't matter where heroes really come from. What matters is they've got it. And there is only one company that has the product to fight back. It feels like Homelander planted that or something. My company. What yeah, you're I very say? quick to, to say that stuff, but it seems like absolutely that's a inside move to gain some power, huh? Yeah. Because of the Nakib asshole that is out there, we have to keep Vaught happy now. No uh, proof! I f***ing will rescue the proof from a basement. Vaught's manufacturing supervillains. The story of the century. Don't you want a f***ing Pulitzer? He said, I ain't touching that. That story's gonna cost me my life. That'd be crazy to get a Pulitzer. I never even thought about that in my life. I just want a YouTube plaque. <laughs> me too. It's good enough for me. Look, the military deal is signed and sealed. Do you think one new girl is going to derail that? You're wanting men now. Oh, hell, you should have led with that. I know. Brush it up. I trusted you. This is a f***ing thing, so get. Butcher, I will still protect your families. Yeah, and keep your bleeding career even safer. What about me and the boys then, eh? You cut me. The boys. I don't. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> All right then, love. He didn't want to get hung up on in front of everybody. We need to speed up. Mm -hmm. We ain't we ain't done yet. The hell we ain't. We're on the verge of nailing these guys. And you want to cut bait and run before we play the final card. Okay, what is it, man? Give us a couple of hours. Yeah? Huey, you with me. But at some point, Billy's gonna have to take his focus away from Homelander and start aiming it towards Vought more. Because hypothetically he kills Homelander, they're just gonna replace him. I don't know. I mean, they're labbing these things. Annie! You scared me! I hid this under my floorboards right after Daddy left. What's Compound V? Uh, Compound V? I don't know, sweetheart. Should I? Hmm. She lied. How old was I? Hmm? I just put it together. I just put it together. How Hold on, let me tell I? you something. She is like... So Homelander was like the first generation of that, and they realized they screwed up because they raised them. They all raised them in a lab. So they had to like pick families, like surrogate families. Right. But I'm wondering if these families had to pay for them or not. Well, yeah, obviously. And you can tell that she looks at her as almost like a trophy because look at all these posters. In she back. is like she has to get her investment or something. Right. Even Tom Brady's dad doesn't have po posters of him all over his house. He has like a room. Yeah, that's crazy. Annie, honestly, I don't know what how old. When you let them turn me into a freak. You're not a freak. Bless you. So it's true. Did 
Did Vaught tell you all no. this? No. A friend told me. Huey Magoo. How much did they pay you? It wasn't about money. How much? They just paid for the medical bills. That's it. Like surrogacy, but... I did but, it because they, they yeah. promised that you have a chance at an extraordinary life. So that was her actual daughter. I mean, who would want that? For their you children? made me think that I was chosen by God. You were! God brought Vaught into our lives. He made this possible. Bullshit! You did! And then you controlled every single minute of it. I gave up every moment of my life. And I was happy to do it. This was our dream. This was your dream. I never got a chance to choose my own dream. He told me that daddy left because he lost all of our savings. He agreed to all of it. And then one day he, he didn't. So he walked out on us. Maybe he didn't want to lie to me. So he abandoned you? Like, what the hell? <laughs> People would give anything to be what you are. I thought I did what was right. Annie! What are you celebrating? What are you talking about? The seven getting called up. You know the whole reason the Navy discontinued their sea mammal mine clearance program? It's because it costs way too much to train the fucking dolphins. But with me, what is he Lord, making? It's like a, it's like a pickup game of basketball. I've always wanted to lead my own unit, Jeff. That was disgusting. Did he even have it's ice in it? Back. So when? When what? When do I ship out? So he's trying to go back to the seven? No, I'm seriously leaving, Jeff. Here's the sitch. I, I talked to New York. You're not. So much. Leaving. Free yeah, if you get accused of sexual assault, your career is over, the brother. Welcome to reality. Dusky. That's nice of them to prop you up in an apartment, though. And give you $75 a day. Hey, that's more than most. Do you think Huey's going to wear a trench coat by the end of the season? I hope so. William. What are you looking at out there? Eastern Meadowlarks. I thought we agreed that you were never going to come out here. You taught me a thing or two about broken promises. This is Hugh Campbell. We're working with M.M. and Frenchie. Grace Mallory, I'm the founder of your little club. I need your help. Sorry, I can't. I'm hoping to photograph a snowy owl in the dunes. <laughs> He's a cheeky Look, one. But I need your help, and you're gonna fucking help. Why is that? Because you owe me. Dang, she went in there and had a whole makeover. Is Homelander about to show up? I just have a feeling. No, I feel like she's gonna go out there and Frenchie's gonna be like, oh. I think that's what it is. So I guess her compound V's wearing off because she's like smelling stuff. And right. Just, Acting normal. But it could be Homelander Run! also. <laughs> well, Homelander didn't throw those in there. Is that Black Noir? Hit him, Kimiko. You're gonna have to do better than that. Do I? Why? Because you made me a promise. But then my grandchildren got incinerated. There weren't even teeth left. Lamplighter had burnt them alive so thoroughly. Oh, retired lamplighter. But what about what you've done? What I've done? To who? To me, goddammit. You trained me up, manipulated me, and then when it didn't suit you anymore, you just threw me away. He was over there like, Yeah. like, <laughs> I'm gonna finish what you started. And I need your help. You can leave with something if you never come back. What, the Book of Secrets? A tracker? Madeline Stillwell. Vought's VP. They have a, what shall we say, a very special relationship. I don't know if Homelander has a weakness, but if he does, she'll know it. What if it's her? Goodbye, Grace. You want to kill yourself? That's your right. I won't stop you, but Billy, not the others. Vengeance isn't a path to glory, Hugh. It's a one-way ticket to a dead end. Hey. All right, Mallory. No, go ahead. Sure. From their perspective, they just walked past one of the most famous people on the planet. They didn't even... Well, because he's crippled now. Who cares? Oh, is that what it is? I don't know, but I know crutches hurt when you walk. Them armpit things, he's bold for not putting them. You have to put owls on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, they got pictures of that one guy everywhere. <laughs> dude, dude, it's Adrian. Can I help you? I'm just keeping an eye out. Um, it really looks like you're only keeping an eye on me. You know I'm A-Train, right? And I'm Homelander. Dude, we're back to A-Train. 
Listen, I'm sorry about that. Wait, so now that you, now that you know I'm H right now, we're good? It was my mistake. Yeah, you damn right it's your mistake. I'm A-Train. I'm the fastest f***ing man alive. What are you all f***ing looking at? So Compound V can't help him heal that thing? Boys are gone. What? Someone's grabbed them. What? Nah, someone else doing the dirty work for them. Probably some fed Black Ops unit. We're on our own. We've got to get to Stillwell before the walls close. Who gives a f*** about Stillwell? We have to go back for them. You don't get it, Huey. We've got about a couple of hours before they find us, and that's if we're lucky. You're abandoning them. Mother's Milk has a daughter. They want us to finish the job. Your job? It's all about Homelander, isn't it? And I show. Promised you payback, didn't I? You never cared about me. Duh. I was just useful to you. Maybe y'all became friends now. He's of a grifter. You're useful. I mean, that's why you're here, isn't it? We have to save them. We don't have time for this shit right now. We get still well. Now get in the fing car. Then what? Becca comes back from the dead? Robin too? If you don't like to play, why did you join the team? Mallory's right. You're just gonna drag us all down with you. Not me. Not anymore. And an insult to Robin's memory. Ow. I think I'm doing this for her. Goodbye, Huey. So he's gonna go save him by himself? If I'm Huey, though, I already killed Translucent. No, I'm not stopping. Oh my god, I can't look at those gills. They make me feel... Ugh. Oh my god, how did they get him to move like that? CGI, but they added the move effect to it. Why doesn't he just move into the ocean? No, he's having a midlife crisis. What is that, Britney Spears? Yep. You kind of like missed half. He's more fish-like now. I've seen his ass more than any dude's ass I've ever seen in my life. Maybe more than I've ever seen my own ass before. You've got a lot of balls. Just two? You must want me to arrest you. I need your help. She's gonna help him save them. Yeah, because her and her mom's relationship fell off, and the only reason she was doing it was for her mom. Please just yeah. listen to me. Why? Yeah. Was that Walt Disney Castle in that gay play? Look. Yeah. Why is that a Disney castle in that flag? Because they said that they make fun of, like, that was probably a satire. Oh, it was the satire, yeah. Yeah. Vod is giving compound B to some bad people, like really bad. Like that soup terrace. That's insane. No, it's true. Look, my friends want to stop it, but they got caught on Vod's orders, and I, and I figured because you had security clearance, maybe you could help find them. Huey, I was almost arrested just for knowing you. She thought Homelander was going to arrest her. Yeah, he was about to kill her. <laughs> you have 30 seconds to get the hell out of here. Okay. I feel like when she has the turtle necklace, that means she's Sorry to bother she's going to be with the boys. So I think this will change. I mean, why the hell <laughs> would I ever help you? Because Vod's up to some evil shit? Because it's your job? Because you're a superhero. I can't remember the last time I saved anyone. Well, let's you start. saved me. Oh, damn. When did I ever save you? Bowling out. I was angry after Robin. I was headed for this cliff, and then you and me went bowling. Do you notice they put it out and they had it just back oh. a minute ago? Just tucked in, yeah. yeah. So she's gonna side with them, Avi. I quit paying attention to necklaces after Stranger Things. <laughs> Thing is, I don't care. Dang. It's like he's going through ACL training or something. Probably rehab. Yeah, but like times 80, because what the heck? He just broke that thing. What the hell are you doing? Doc said six weeks minimum after a fracture like that. I'm all good, man. Looking back to training. You're healed. I'm healed. You back on that So that answered your question. Yeah, you it does help. It gives stay you Wolverine. Clean. I am clean. A1, all natural. A train, baby. Your bones fuse back together overnight. I am the world's fastest man. Bet you can't outrun this. Hey, I'm not gonna sit here and watch you kill yourself. You've always just been jealous of me, so go ahead. Do you think the train people care that he does that? You know? I'm like, can you stop using our trains as like weight? Making that guy feel uncomfortable is. <laughs> I wouldn't want to sit next to him. He hasn't even talked yet. I, I'm just. You're. I'm just gonna. You know. Oh, he's about to go in there and just kill it.
So he's the best of the seven. Yeah. Or well, maybe he's so awful Stop that it. no one realizes Stop, that he doesn't please. Help. Well, they said he's supposed to be like Batman. Who said that? In the comments, they said he's like mocking Batman. Is he? And Homelander's like mocking Superman. Mm. Mr. Edgar. Uh, I uh, I didn't know you were going to come. That's Far Cry 5 guy. I no, mean, that's... Far Cry 6 guy. That's That dude's from... uh. You don't know that guy. God, that dude's from Breaking Bad. That's Gus. No, he's from Far Cry 6. Yeah, but once you watch Breaking Bad, don't nobody give a shit about Far Cry 6. No, Every, you're going to know shit. him from Breaking Bad after that. That dude, that dude's uh, Gustavo Fring. You don't know him. We're going to get into Breaking Bad eventually, he's guys. President Anton or something like that. And, yeah. The Pentagon's shelling out north of $40 billion per year. You should enjoy a bonus that reflects that. I, I don't know what to say. We'll say thank you. Thank you. Comes with strings. You're gonna need to move your office down to 82. That's your floor. Just saying, someone needs to run this shit show when I move to Belize. And so she got a promotion. So this is the guy that writes the speeches for Homelander. Yeah, he better get right, or I'm gonna have to go talk to my boy Hector. Y'all know you know. Electricity goes in, glass comes out. Do you ever um, use it for fun? Sometimes my eyes light up when I. What poop? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd she move on so fast? Will you excuse me? Just a second. <gasps> you want me to hold your hair back? Uh, don't touch. Do you think Look, she used to be like Starlight? Yeah, I do. My radius never healed straight. I really did break every bone in my right arm. Stopping the bus from falling? You said the marketing guys made it up. Oh. It was me. 23-year-old, bright-eyed, ass you could bounce a quarter off of. Me. I really did want to make a difference. I was just like you. I started giving pieces of myself away, and I guess I gave away everything. Just be original. My position is already taken. Be the annoying goody-two-shoes asshole that you are. Aww. One of us has to be. He's like, I'm dead inside, Loki. Live your life. Bye. Spent my whole youth bouncing quarters. No, I'm watching. Off my booty cheeks. <laughs> I like that though. I like that Maeve told her, you know, don't be, don't be like quarters. me. Don't be like me at all. I bet her and Homelander didn't really have a relationship. I bet it was staged. I bet they had to, it was like paid like for the wedding. Like, yeah. yeah. So. No, I haven't. You do know that I went to see Vogelbaum, though. And you do know what he told me. I never meant for you to find out that way. You wanted to protect me. Well, we all did. Yeah, John. Did it ever occur to you that a soup terrorist showing up exactly when we needed him to? It's almost like mm -hmm. someone planned it. No way. Madeline, the puppet master. Me. We would never. I you made him. I borrowed some Compound V. I had a train run it all over the globe. And I supercharged some jihadis. What the hell? Well, enough survived to call the operation a huge success. We gotta put Homelander down. Sorry, guys. He's risky. We have villains all over the globe that only we can fight. Well, say something. You just went behind my back. That freaks her out. Mm-hmm. But she handled it like that because she's manipulating him i think on some level she's no. probably a little scared of him take off your pants maybe that's not his mom pulling out the slong lander sit down why is he listening all of a sudden <sighs> what if Don't that's how she has that baby well i kind of no. assumed that already did she just tell him no? Oh, hell no. My special, special sweet boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you did good. I'm proud of you. So That's the worst you. mommy issues I've ever seen from anyone. Homelander's kind of sensitive, ain't he? <laughs> Jesus. Why didn't you tell us? Tell you what? That you had a daughter. I don't know. In case you get compromised, Frenchie, start squealing. I guess she's... The only good thing I ever did, man. I just wanted just to leave her clean out of it, you know? Mm. 
She made you a better person. Do you like that? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgar came to the party tonight, and he practically offered me his job. He um, wants me to move to the 82nd floor so that I can be closer to him. You'll still be my day-to-day, -day, right? Yeah, of course. I will be there for you always. Y'all are so weird. I don't know okay. what is wrong with them, but something. From now on, no more secrets. I promise. No more secrets. Well, damn, she already broke that promise. She was off the couch on Winder. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about your baby. The pain of losing a child to miscarriage is... I just wanted to spare you that burden. Do you understand? Yes. You know, only when those two are in the room, I sort of root for Homelander. Right, you know it's I mean? weird. I feel like she's definitely above him on the terrible scale. Because she's manipulating him. Like, and when you cower down to the manipulation. Wow. As a manipulator. Are you <laughs> hey, easy with him, man. He just goes and gets caught. Come on with you. Did they get butchered too? No. They got you separated. When? I came to save you. So. Good job. You came here. You meant to come here without butcher yeah never has a man thrown his life away so completely like you thrown yours away today <laughs> no they got mad no. at him for doing right, so they searched me heck? i managed to poly grip in my 12th grade retainer friends you could pick a lock with anything right there's premium metal wire in this thing ew it's stuck okay okay oh still no still. Oh, still still. Open. oh no open is he gonna be missing, missing his front tooth oh. or something left come on get up in there french <laughs> oh. oh just go deeper just a little deeper all right, all right, all right, no, wait, 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 I'm gonna knock that bitch out your mouth, okay? We're not at that step yet. We don't have to do that. <laughs> so it's just gonna sting a little bit. That's right. like the fifth sting step. on three. Okay, well, if you count down. Oh, yes. It works. How did he know that's all you had to do? Boy, how did he get stuck? You glue it in or something? <laughs> Maybe it was I'm in 12th grade, so yet. his tooth grew or something. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Is there any Yeah, I'm home. Don't worry. He's all right. Put your phone on the table. She probably has a secret gun in every cushion. Oh, sir, I'd install a Homelander button in my house. One she probably doesn't need to have one. He probably you. knows. What do you want? You know what I want. Well, I don't know how breaking into my home and threatening my child is going to get you, Homelander. There isn't a weapon on Earth that they haven't thrown at him. I'm talking about you. Me? Yeah, you're the only thing he gives two shits about. You're his weakness. Captured. Where is she? Oh, oh no. Man, they blasted Frenchie. No way. I was okay. Why is there like a perfect wall right here to hide behind? Dang, they really did shoot him like that. No, 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 stay down. She better be fing worth it. Wait, what? Cover him! No, I don't know. I don't I can't do this. You yeah. just pulled the fing trigger! He said Huey don't know what to do he. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm sorry! <laughs> he's shooting saying he's sorry. He could have just shot Mother's Note though. Reload! What the fing do I know about reload? Okay. That's all I know too. Let's go. And then. And then. Uh oh. No way. Yes. No. Why did they have her like that? I just feel like if you're gonna put gunshots in a show like this, and if you're gonna be, you know, 25 feet away and miss 700 shots, just skip the gun scene in the show. Drop your weapon. Okay. Okay. Your okay. Weapon. Hands on your heads. Is it starlight? starlight? Yeah, it's gotta be. Cause that wasn't red, it was gold. Yes, Annie. And she's in her good girl costume. Annie. You came. Like you said, I'm a f***ing superhero. Yes, you are. I think in episode one, the idea that Starlight was gonna break away from these people made a lot of sense. Yeah. <gasps> no, he saw her. Go, go. Okay, go. 
Oh, this is y'all's chance. But he's compound read up. He's like, you are a rat. I got this. Go. No, I'm the one he wants. I'm not leaving you. Oh, please just go. She's gonna have to kill him. Man, you don't have a ch you don't have a choice. Do you think she's stronger than him? Depends. I think she's the strongest character besides Homelander. You think it's just like no one quite knows that yet because yeah. she hasn't had to use it. <laughs> Dang. Dang, dude. But it was your fault. Weird logic. His heart might explode. He overdosed on that compound V, huh? He probably got to adrenaline stroke, rush. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot, dude. I, I think he's having a heart attack. Well, help him. What Stop if they save him and become his friends? Two, three. Call an ambulance. What the hell, Huey? He'll never stop coming for you. I know. Oh, Huey. This is Starlight. I have a code 7865. A train is down. It's kind of crazy that they can even you have, have a heart go. attack. I'll take over. Huey, go. But not Compound V is probably like meth times 20 million. Yeah. Yeah, he's on that shit stronger than what my aunt be on. <laughs> Don't do her like that. He's on like Compound C. <laughs> What is that? Explosives? Same thing they stuck up Translucent's butt. Here we go. Well, well, well. I know you can see through the ceiling. You try to kill me, and my trigger finger goes soft. <laughs> Take it easy. You all right? No. Madeline? Take him upstairs. All good. You are pretty darn impressive. I mean, especially for one of you. I'm sure your your heart's pounding, but you're not afraid. All because of your lovely wife, Becca. It's not my fault, okay? She came on to me. It happens. Will you stop? You know, it's it's the fame. They got crushes. What I will tell you is, she was a hell of a lay. Came three times, eh? And you're a superhero. I want you to Dang. take him out of here. But that's not really it. No. Is he gonna no, tell no. him? Oh no! Don't please. No, it's more than just that. You think I'm responsible for her death. So now you have a hostage that, that I care about. What if he doesn't love her and he just walks so, away? He might. What's your plan? And then he might be uh, Edgar's person. What do you want? Do you want a confession or what's your end game? I'm just gonna hurt you. I mean, really fucking hurt you. And that'll be good enough for me. You wanna blow her up in front of me? Roy. <laughs> wow. You are dark. And I kind of like it. <laughs> what? It needs to be Teddy upstairs. Answer one question for me. How do you know? I mean, you must have some rock solid proof. Are you telling me that this whole thing is based on feelings? Please take me upstairs. Bit, Hold on. Take him upstairs. Uh, shut the f up. Yeah, he doesn't oh. care about her at all. Billy just realized that. Yeah. Excuse me. That this isn't. You promised me. You and Vogelbaum should have got your story straight. So I went back to Vogelbaum and I managed to squeeze the truth out of him. Uh oh. I'm so sorry. I should never have lied to you. I know now that you don't need to be protected. Will you please take Daddy upstairs? Oh my gosh, what was What if it? she, what if he kills the baby in front of her? Me? You mean everything to me? No. I mean everything to your job. You care more about that baby than you do about me. No, I oh my gosh. Tell me the truth or I walk out right now. I'm scared. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. Thank you. Thank you for finally being honest. That's crazy. See you later, Madeline. You've been real. His eyes are going to light up right now. Are you sure? Is it, so he's going to do it? Yeah, I don't lie to Homelander. He's a freak. Oh, the forehead kisses. Is he gonna take a bite? 
Look at him. He's like, what the hell? That's the end of her like that? What? Oh my God. She looks like Tales from the Crypt lady. You know that little demon on there? That's what she looked like. No. Okay, maybe it's not his mom. What was that plan again? Oh well. Damn, so Billy was ready to end it all right there, even himself. He'd rather blew himself up than die at the hands of Homelander. What do you think Homelander like saved him? Oh my gosh. Cheeky wakey. You can thank me for uh, saving you sometime later. But for now, time to get up. Come on, you're gonna love this. Is it his son? Mom! Oh, look at this handsome devil. Him and Becca's son. Hey pal. You know who I am? Homelander. Oh! <gasps> That's Becca. No. Uh oh. What is going on? Did she just run off and leave him? Becca. Oh. I'm your father. We are a family. <laughs> wow. No, she ran off with this kid to raise him. I mean, Homelander is just, just now telling this kid. Well, I mean, yeah, but. All right, guys. So that was the boys. You know, to be honest. I think a season into this show, I think I like this show in these last two episodes three times more than I've liked the show to this point. Yeah, I think I agree with I that. I think we progressed so much in this show and it this show became very complex in a way that it has been very, not, I wouldn't say one dimensional by any means, right. but it just, it, it has so much depth to it now yeah. at this point. And I think- It's just fun. Baby, Homelander killed Madeline. He burnt her eyes out. The whole time we thought- I thought that was his mom. Maybe he, you know, maybe he did love her, but maybe in his in his mind, he just doesn't put that much stock in love. Or maybe he just doesn't you know love saying? nobody. That's what I'm thinking. He's something just like homelander. That. He, he didn't even care about nobody. the baby. No. Guys, I'm trying to figure it out in live time, man. Why in the world did Homelander bring Huey back to his family? Do you think you that... You mean Billy? Yeah. Do you think that he literally brought Billy back just to say, hey, I'm your dad, just to torture Billy in a way? I think so. I was, it was either that or to show Billy that, like, he's doing... He's coming after Homelander for no reason. Yeah, but if you're Homelander, why waste energy? Why not just kill Billy? Homelander doesn't care, you know? That's maybe like... Maybe Homelander likes it. I don't know. Maybe he likes to torture him with that. I don't know. I feel like it's got to be some type of torture technique at this point. Um, a lot happened in this, man. Starlight had a fallen out with her mom. Yeah. Pretty much argued and ran out in the kitchen. So I kind of hate that that happened because no one wants to see a family break up. But a part of me loves it because I feel like what's keeping her inside of, you know, the seven is her mom's blessing. basically. Yeah. And, and that's so what's making her try to be like, listen to everything they say. And, mm. and what else was crazy about that whole discovery was we found out that they didn't get paid to to like put the babies with the compound V they like all the compound V I guess doctor stuff got paid for right and that's about it right Homelander is the one who took the compound V all across the world well actually he made a train yeah a train do it so a train ran it all across the world he basically he set the stage man he's gonna get into that military I thought from the beginning I thought it was really her pushing that but it's Homelander. Homelander has his own agenda, he's dude. He's crazy. Absolutely. <laughs> he's the craziest person. I th and we think it's Madeline, and it's probably Edgar's the we're probably worse. He's probably the worst. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. but Homelander, man, he's trying to be on um, level 82. Dude, you guys don't understand. Like, Homelander gets on my nerves to the point to where, like, I just, I can't stand the man. But he, I don't know, dude, he's kind of killing the show. No, he's don't killing you it because he's, he has like such a smirky attitude that it's like, ugh, you just want to like go in there and jack him up. But his conversation, like the way he put, makes the show so eerie. He is definitely, good. he definitely sets the boundaries for, you know, the show for sure, man. He, uh, I don't know. He's a scary, a scary individual. Just the way he like walks around and just, just presents himself just very calm and Cause slow. he knows so much more than he puts on at all times. And he's so how he how he like gives it off is the, so scary it's stressful the thing about homelander he doesn't explode right he never has any explosive movements and any rapid action except Everything for to with the him, deep that one time he did what did he do remember he like hey buddied him in the office he basically like oh grabbed his shoulders he was basically like i'll light you up if you don't chill but you know but in a way like 
the subtlety of Homelander is what makes him so scary. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because because he's like a nuclear missile, but he's so calm. Right. And that's basically what Compound B is. It's just nukes, you know. Yeah. They even when they discuss it in the show, they even talk about it as if they were talking about nuclear bombs. Yeah. They, just like they talk about the compound B like it was Sarah. What about A Train trying to carry the train? <laughs> the thing about A Train man is he'd be a great character. I'd really like A Train, but when we started the show out, he was in number <laughs> one. Like, I know I'm supposed to hate mm-hmm. Homelander more, and I guess in a sense I do. I've been sympathetic to Huey from the beginning because it's one thing if you made a mistake, you know, like I understand that. But man, I tell you what, going into a club and then bragging about it, something yeah. else and I ran through her. Yeah, and that was, was the, in my mouth. That was, I don't, that, that was the part that made A Train suck. And also the part of him taking the compound V and it being more important than Pop Claw, I guess. I mean, we could definitely say more reasons why that guy sucks, but yeah. <laughs> those are definitely the biggest reasons. Yeah. I just feel like it's strange that Huey let that man. The only reason Huey was down to let that guy live is because of Starlight. It has to be. He was I trying think to impress it's just Starlight. because Huey's not ready to be a killer yet, like a cold blooded one. Like maybe, uh, maybe once in a while, a coincidental one, but not a cold blooded one. You know, when uh, Translucent was walking out and he had it, I don't know if you remember that face he made when he detonated it. Because I that told was cold you, blooded. he's not cold-blooded yet. Yeah, that he's, wasn't cold-blooded. I mean, was Translucent going to kill him? Was 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 he not about to kill him? Yeah, but he's not cold-blooded yet. Like he's if, working if that on heart it. attack wouldn't, If that stroke or heart attack wouldn't have happened, whichever one it was, I guess a heart attack, if that wouldn't have happened, Huey's dead. He's about to kill Huey. Well, when he borrows Billy's... Billy's jacket because I see that coming in the, in the Oh, future. you think he's going to He's going to be a like cold-blooded Dean killer. Win- Winchester? <laughs> I yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. I feel bad for Billy in a way, man. I feel like... He spent so much time. Eight years. Eight years in that looking at that video, really convinced that Becca was gone. Just wanting to find her body, wanting to find anything, wanting to get to Homelander, which is like the supervillain slash superhero, but supervillain superhero that is pretty much untouchable. And you really are planning a whole plot to go against him. But then you realize it was really Becca you're against. I guess my thing is I just need more background on their relationship because they seem like such an established couple. Who, Homelander and Becca? No, no, no. Uh, Billy and Becca. Yeah, exactly. Yes, they seem right. very happy. They seem like they talk. Well, did they, though? I don't know. because They didn't seem happy at all, actually. And now, now in hindsight, okay, I'm just going to be very honest, right? If I'm sitting there in public at an event like that and some dude walks up to you and starts charming you up like that, and if you go for it, mm, right, not at all. Right. I I, I, she was like, but I do know she just got that job, so it seemed like she was just excited to like get on whatever social media thing he he was saying. Yeah. But I don't really know. I don't. I. I we don't know that whole story quite yet, so I don't want to make assumptions right off the bat. I mean, even though we just watched what we watched, and we're supposed to make assumptions. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to say like you know too cut and dry because Becca's face looked mortified on both need, accounts. I would need. I would. I would need some 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 damn questions answered. Is what I would need. Yeah. But it's. There just had to be something more to go down, though. So they told Homelander that she died, the baby died, so Homelander wouldn't go, like, being a family guy, so he would still be th- this asset. They basically, it, I mean, you couldn't have said it better, man. They, The one thing, the one weakness Homelander would possibly have in his it's life is his family. But yeah. now that Madeline's not there anymore, he doesn't have that constant propaganda machine in his ear beating this idea that it's not possible in your ear, so... He might decide, hey, I'm the most powerful being on the planet. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to. I'm going to raise my family. Like, it'd be really hard to be Homelander and listen to anyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, mean, I wouldn't. Yeah. Like, Except Edgar. He does listen to Edgar. Well, I think Except he Except for he doesn't listen I to Edgar. I only think he listened to Edgar because at that Madeline. point, this whole entire concept of power still existed in his mind. But yeah. I think the moment he killed Madeline, I think he realized, oh, this junk's a show. At the end of the day. I don't need these people. Power's I'm power. And I'm yeah. the only one who actually has it. So. Interesting character. Honestly, of everything we watched, he's like the most stressful character I've ever watched. Like Joffrey used to stress me out watching him, but Homelander's like an all time high of stress. The thing about Joffrey he's so unpredictable, huh? The thing about Joffrey that didn't the reason Joffrey don't stress me out as much as Homelander is because if I was living in those Game of Thrones times, you know, and if Joffrey I mean, I understand there's a lot you won't do because you have a family, you know, so you have to be, you know, but if you ever happen to find me in a position where I'm familyless. Oh, yeah, Joffrey, you're getting thrown in a hole, brother. I don't care if you're the king right, or not. Right. Homelander, on the other hand, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Joffrey was like a kid, so he's um, he was unpredictable in my mind because he's a he's a young he was a child. He was a young boy, so like you never knew where his like emotions were. But that's like Homelander, because he's like a I'm not trying to sound rude, but he's like a lab rat. So like you just really don't know 
It's kind of like Eleven in a way. We just kind of like we yeah. love Eleven. Eleven's the good side of that. We love Eleven, but she's also a weapon. Also, right. Homelander's the hugest weapon in the world. And I just like I said, man, I just think it's absolutely crazy that he's the one creating all these these bad soups across the sea. You know, that just seems like something that could get out of hand, though. Yeah. You know, so I'm just really hoping that this show doesn't become a show where there's just too much going on in that sense, mm-hmm. you know, because that was my first thought. I really don't want this to turn into like a war movie or a war show, you know, because mm-hmm. I, I really think the inner politics of how vaults working and all the corruption is what makes the show interesting. And I think the best part of this show is the slow drip of disclosure. Yeah. Because remember, Huey was such a fan. Yeah. Start. Uh, he walked up to, to uh, Billy and was basically, Billy was basically in awe of him and he didn't have, like he had no idea that he was a bad guy. I'm stumbling on my words, but basically <laughs> we're watching these characters come to the realization that reality is nothing like they've been told. So right. I, I just think it's really interesting for sure. Yeah. Because at the beginning, yeah, the superheroes were kind of like, you know, celebrities and everyone would look up to them like you like you in a Marvel movie when they'd see him, they'd be like, oh, it's Homelander. We're safe. You know, all that kind of stuff. But we turn We've realized from this season right here that they are nowhere near the MCU characters. No, not quite. No, there, there's no Captain America in this in the squad right here. Uh, the deep is going off the deep end. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. He moved to Ohio and had a whole midlife crisis. Right. Shaved his head. <laughs> Got gilled up. Uh, Jeez. I, I don't even know. He got straight violated. Got so, a lobster put to the torch. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Like he was the one doing the violating, and now he's having like a woman shove her hands up his gills. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, dude, this life ain't for me. He's trying to go back to the seven so bad. He wants to be there. <sighs> to be honest, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near Homelander. Like <laughs> yeah. he walks on eggshells. Like I don't care yeah. how famous and I am. And especially just... the deep, he's like very scared of Homelander. Like. Everyone has their own fear of Homelander, but he especially for some reason. Oh, the deep. Yeah, everyone. You well, saw. he snitched on him. Yeah, true. He did. You know, he did. Snitch he went on down him. there and said that there was laser burns in the side yeah. of the plane. So. He said no. He said a dolphin told him, or like a weird fish told him that. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the yeah. heck? How do you know it's a reliable source? Because don't the dolphins try to be like try to violate him and stuff? Dude, honestly, <laughs> like, I just feel like. How can you trust them? So do you think he specifically has a thing for dolphins? He hasn't mentioned like orca whales or anything. No, I, no. I mean, I think dolphins are just like the most communicative. Is that the right word? They're the most. Are they though? Yeah, because they make those weird sonar noises. I don't think dolphins are the most communicative, but they could be. I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, man. if I'm, that. I, I think of like sea critters that talk and like dolphins are the only ones i can really consider besides whales are there any whales out there like is an orca smarter than a dolphin it's so much bigger it has such can a bigger... dolphins beat up sharks um no orcas can no dolphins can too how google it oh i'm sure they can i've seen some sea creatures do some stuff man but Anyways, they don't make try. sounds like turtles don't make sounds like fish don't make sounds you know well they do when they're splashing in the water they make all kinds of sounds yeah, but he can communicate with them. Like he, oh, you know, a lot of times, a lot of like when fish move, it's the vibration of their tail patterns that communicate. Did you know that? I just made that shit up. No, it's something like that though. It sounds right, right? Yeah, something like that. Like I don't know. Anyways, don't quote me, man. I'm just but, making that but up. But this is a question I have though. Okay, so they're using the compound V to make the people. But why? So for example, why does the deep have gills? Why does Star not Star Lord? What the heck? Homelander have eye missiles and Mave. I don't know what Mave has. Gene honestly. splicing, man. Uh, I feel like they literally took his genes. They whose mis- genes? Homelanders. John. All of theirs. You know the oh. same way that Starlight has her ability. You know Homelander can shoot lasers out of his eyes. So they were and, just altering the gene pool to like make superpowers. Right. You yeah. know how like for example. Uh, that's why there's like more than one A train or something. There's people who right. race. And, stuff. and so even something like gills, even though that's not like a human thing at all, like I don't have gills, but I would imagine if you slice my DNA and if you eventually became advanced enough to like add DNA, slice DNA, fuse DNA, like when you start getting into all of that, I mean, really the sky's the limit. Right. I mean, in real life, dude, there's genuinely no telling like what can and be And essentially like they're all lab experiments in a way because they're all so different. So maybe they're just like the ones that fought through and didn't and survived the trials yeah it has to be that right there's I don't probably know. so many who didn't make it yeah i mean he remember homelander said it's weird to test on adult humans 
Um, that's why I understand why y'all stick to babies. Maybe babies are more malleable or something. I don't know. It's or maybe you like nurse it into them slowly. Uh, yeah, that's probably what it is. And they it's probably just with years it. and years. Yeah. Of, yeah, it probably takes a long time. And you get immune, life. you get immune, and that's why uh, A Train got the end of it where he's addicted to that. It's full right. On. You know how like in Marvel, if like uh somebody wants to take some of that green potion that they always take, you know, they instantly become like a superhero. Yeah. Not in this show, man. It's a it's a slow drip. Yeah. Crazy show. I I really do think a season in, man. Uh, first two episodes, I wasn't sure about it because I was like, what the hell. Second two episodes. Definitely liked it a lot more, man, especially with the dolphin and all that. I started to realize how silly the show could be. Right. Third, uh, the next two episodes confused the hell out of me. But then I realized it's just a satire. Of yeah, some this sort, show so. is just mocking things and it's goofy and it's crazy. Yeah. Obnoxious. It's very interesting, though. I will say that, guys. This is one of the shows where I just really don't know what's going on. I have all these predictions and I'm mostly wrong. I think it's kind of refreshing, though, for Starlight not to suck, I guess, you know. Well, a lot of times there the has to be someone. I thought it was going to be Black Noir. I don't. I'm not so convinced. I like him. Why? He's good at piano. He's good at piano. But man, have you ever met anybody good at piano that you trusted? I don't really know. I've never really <laughs> met anyone good at piano. Right. Uh, I'm good at piano. Are you? Yeah, I can play Hot Cross Buns. I'd well, I like, can play Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's better, right? So I'm better than you. I prefer Hot Cross Buns. No, That's I prefer me. Mary had a No, I just feel like he might turn out to be a horrible character, but he just it's one of those things, man, when you don't open your mouth, no one can read your atten- your intention. So right. you're over I here hope thinking we get a he's backstory great. on him. <laughs> My thing is, why would he be great? His organization's not great. His organization's corrupt to the But bone, if he's so. supposed to be like the mocking of Batman, I think he's great. So you think in DC Batman was the good guy and Spider Man was or Superman was the bad guy? Honest, Superman can I be honest? I don't know much about Superman. I know he like has a disguise and he flies. Like I don't know much about him. All I know is he has an S. What's that show? Smallville used to come on right before Supernatural. Uh, the only thing about Smallville, I never watched the show, but I used to wonder to myself, why in the hell does Superman have so many emotional problems? So that's about Superman, that show. Oh, okay. yeah, it's about some guy who like crashes into a farm. And they're like, hell, we'll raise him. And he's like, well, I'm I'm Superman. They're like, we know we're going to raise you and protect you, <laughs> like Hercules. That's the story of Hercules. You know, I usually only watch like the last four minutes waiting on Supernatural oh. to come on. I usually would go shower, uh, brush my teeth. And listen to the end credits. Yeah, listen to somebody save me. <laughs> I don't care. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't. Uh, Just save what me. What channel was that? The CW. So it used to come on 69. 69, when I was growing up, dog, I had channel 2, channel 5, channel 11, channel 17, channel 36, and channel 69. Oh, and channel 46. Those are all the channels we had in Atlanta growing up. Um, so yeah, dude, I got to watch Supernatural and I got to watch the so last that's five minutes why of you watch Supernatural. I'm wondering like how the heck did you even get involved in Back that in show? my day, man, that show was like an all time show. It was on Okay, it was well on... I have the same day as you. I hope you know that. We have the same day. And I don't remember I never even heard about Supernatural until I met you. Yeah, but you grew up with a Disney Channel spoon in your mouth. Yeah, true. <laughs> I didn't have all yeah, that. Yeah, true. I was watching Lizzie McGuire. I was watching all of that. I, was I used to have to go outside the in the storm. Show. I had to go outside in the storm and, you know what I'm saying, I had to adjust the antenna up hills both ways. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Right in the middle of the thunderstorm. My sister used to scream out the back window, it's working. I'd run all the way inside. The shit would be staticky as fuck. I used to have to run back outside. It pissed me off so bad. I hate my damn sister. She's so annoying. Hey, she used to, just kidding. Sorry, I love my sister, but man, she used to try to throw me out in these thunderstorms. I love my sister, but me and my sister have that type of relationship where we talk junk to each other. Yeah, y'all do. That, that um, is true. So when she watches this video, Amber, I can't stand your ass. <laughs> Stinking ass. Need to shave. What about Rhea? Your sister? Oh, your sister's nice. Well, I have two sisters. My youngest sister is great. Oh, yeah. Your sister is really nice. My oldest sister, boy, that girl ain't worth a damn right uh, there. I tell y'all what. Uh, Just kidding, sis. I love you. Thanks for all those times you made me run outside and twist the satellite. You better get the satellite working. The OC's coming on. <laughs> He's like, all right. If you love you, Amber, if you hear that, and Austin. Yeah, man, I had so much fun watching this show. I have for the sure. best intro idea for Stranger Things. What? I, I if I say it right now, I'll you're ruin gonna go corny. Yeah. Okay. Tell me in private. Okay. All right, guys. Tune in to Stranger Things. Mrs. October has a brilliant idea. It's gonna change the freaking world. <laughs> I can't wait to put it out there. We'll see you guys on the next one, man. For real, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, a season down, dude. We have three seasons to go. So this show reminds me I, a I lot like it. of Supernatural. Not Supernatural. Uh, Stranger Things, because there's four seasons of that. 
Yeah, there's like the same amount of episodes, I think. So this show is going to be Maybe less of the boys than Stranger Things? I don't know. Hey, let me know in the comments before we get out of here, man. What is your guys' favorite character in this show? Is it is it is it Billy Butcher? Is it, you know, is it The Deep? Is it Starlight? You guys let me know because I think my favorite character is probably Huey. Huey? I like Huey and Starlight, to be honest. But it's kind of because I like I like Butcher too. I like Billy Butcher. Cool. Mine goes Starlight, Maeve, Billy, Huey. Oh, Starlight, Maeve, Frenchie, Billy, Huey. Yeah. And Homelander's like honorable mention for number one because he's just a good character. I kind of like Frenchie more than I kind of like Billy, but I didn't want to say that because I don't want to piss Oh, I like off. Mother's Milk too. You know, I like I like all the boys. Yeah. I like all the boys and I like Homelander's character and I like Maeve's too, but I like Homelander's character because it's so creepy. confusing. Yeah, and he's creepy. Yeah, like I just don't know about him. <sighs> well, he sets the standard, man. It's gonna, you know, when you watch shows like this, it's really hard to go back to like you know what I'm saying? Like, if you just had like a like a like a garden salsa damn sun chip, how are you gonna go back to Lay's? You know, you know what, what I was thinking about? Just growing and that's up, that's how Homelander is. Just like growing up, I never would have like, for example, other universes, things like this. I would never watch things like this. Everything I watched was so like, how do you explain it? Girly, linear. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Or girly, or girly, but I never like came up with any of these concepts. So like, it's all kind of mind blowing for me. All this stuff. What concepts? Like superheroes. Like, like. I guess sci-fi in general, like any of this crap, I never watched it, so it's like all crazy to me. That's probably my favorite genre, if I had to be honest. I think I like sci-fi. I never really got into it because I always was like, I remember I would think it was like kind of nerdy. But, but, but like, there's no problem with that. It's just like, I like girl stuff, I guess. I, I was like, oh, I'll watch Mean Girls instead. I don't know. She is girly as hell. I'll, I'll give her that. Babe, I just like the show, man. I'm ready to watch some more. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, tune in for the next episodes. Season two is probably about to go crazy. You guys said season one was a really great introduction season. No one told us what the best seasons were. They didn't. And that's very yeah. unique. Usually we're like, hey, guys, we're watching this 36 season show. And they're like, 17 is the best damn season. And if anyone disagrees, <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. And season eight sucks. Uh, season Game eight. of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> season eight was, I don't know why they ruined her character. D&D sucks. They didn't I don't know if you guys <laughs> realize, but you know, in the end of House or Game of Thrones, I don't know if y'all realize that. A lot of the writing in that show wasn't necessarily the writer's fault. I don't think you realize the political machine that has so many requests and demands on what they're going to put on the TV show. So I did say, you know, I did think when we were watching that show, so many people were shitting on it. You know, and I didn't love the end writing. I do think a lot of it was stupid, but a lot of it was because these big corporate network people got involved and they started saying you got to do this and you got to have this scene. and You got to do that. And then it has to go. This you know way. what? I think that translated in the House of Dragons with the foot fetish stuff yeah that's like a hot topic all of a sudden because people yeah, like, people during covid like made money off feet pics so they like capitalized on how that how much did you make mm, negative six dollars i had to pay people i'm just playing <laughs> uh you don't want to see these dogs i just think the show's going hard right now man i just really like the show i'm ready to get into season two man tune back in let's go <laughs> let's go